Today we're diving into the wacky world of the Flipper Zero, a gadget that looks like a Tamagotchi on steroids but packs more punch than your grandma's secret moonshine recipe. If you've been doom scrolling TikTok lately, no judgment, we've all been there, you've probably seen this little gizmo wreaking havoc at gas stations, department stores, and even Tesla charging ports. It's so notorious that some countries are treating it like contraband. Talk about an overreaction. It's like banning rubber ducks because they might overthrow the government. So what can this digital Swiss army knife do? This bad boy can read and emulate NFC, RFID, infrared, and even mess with sub gigahertz frequencies. In other words, if it's wireless, the Flipper Zero can probably sweet talk it into doing the cha-cha slide. But before we don our tinfoil hats and start living off the grid, let's take a deep breath and ask, is this thing actually the harbinger of the tech apocalypse? Or are we just falling for some spicy clickbait? First off, let's address the elephant in the room, or should I say the Arduino in the room. Most of what the Flipper Zero does can be replicated with an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi and some add-ons. Sure, the Flipper is more convenient, but it's not exactly reinventing the wheel here. Take the sub gigahertz feature, for example. Pranksters are using it to change gas station signs and make Walgreens announcements like they're the second coming of Bart Simpson. But guess what? The chip responsible for this mischief has been around since 2007 and costs less than that fancy latte you're sipping right now. So is it bad that any joker can mess with public signage? Probably. But here's a thought. Wouldn't you rather have some harmless prankster expose these vulnerabilities than a real bad guy? Now, before you start panicking about your car getting stolen, relax. The Flipper Zero isn't designed to break modern rolling code systems. It's like trying to pick a smart lock with a banana. Entertaining, but ultimately fruitless. You're more likely to unlock your car with interpretive dance than with this thing. But here's where it gets spicy. There are other devices out there that can beat rolling codes and they're perfectly legal. Let's talk about RFID, you know, the thing that lets you into your apartment building or hotel room. The flipper can read, save, and even brute force these bad boys. It's only useful for old or non-existent encryption. Besides, most RFID readers are slower than a sloth on NyQuil making brute force attacks about as effective as using a feather duster to break down a door. Now, onto NFC, the thing that lets you tap your credit card and pray you have enough in your account. The flipper can read some info, but don't worry, it can't steal your whole identity. Your deepest, darkest credit score secrets are safe for now. Let's not forget about the bad USB feature. It's like having a mischievous gremlin that can type faster than your caffeinated fingers ever could. But again, your Android phone could probably do the same thing. So what sets the Flipper Zero apart? It's not just what it can do, but how easily it can do it all in one cute dolphin-shaped package, controlled by slick apps that work on everything from your phone to your Steam Deck. It's versatility on steroids, like a digital MacGyver with a PhD in mischief making. The real power of the Flipper Zero isn't in the device itself. It's in the community of tech enthusiasts and tinkerers who keep pushing its limits. These folks are constantly cooking up new ways to use and abuse this little gadget. So, is the Flipper Zero a threat to society? Well, it's about as threatening as a rubber duck with attitude. Sure, it can cause some mischief, but its real value is in exposing vulnerabilities before the real bad guys find them. In the end, the Flipper Zero is a double-edged sword, or should I say a double-edged USB stick. It's a powerful tool for both mischief and education. It can play Doom for crying out loud. If that's not the definition of versatility, I don't know what is. So whether you're a budding hacker, a curious tinkerer, or just someone who wants a cute electronic pet that can potentially wreak havoc, Flipper Zero might be for you. Just remember, with great power comes great responsibility, and possibly a spot on some government watch lists. Use it wisely, or at least use it to prank your friends in increasingly elaborate ways. Stay ethical, for the love of all things holy, update your door locks. This is your friendly neighborhood Cyberflow, signing off before I accidentally hack my own toaster and start the robot uprising. Peace out.